So I shall show you a nice strumming acoustic version here of Whiskey in the Jar by Thin Lizzy. So there's four very common chords in this, E minor, G, C and D. There's one strumming pattern that will show you that will get you through the song, plus one other wee thing that I'll go over now. So when you listen to the song, you'll hear this little riff occasionally. Just this little run that kind of accompanies the bass. So I'm going to recommend take your third finger, this is the third fret of the sixth string that you need, the big thick one, you're going to play that, then you're going to play a rest note, immediately mute the guitar after you play that note, then play the first fret of that string with your first finger, and do a rest note after that. Now this is in quite a tense area on the guitar down there. So be aware of where your thumb position is when you're playing. If you're used to grabbing the guitar like a baseball bat like this, it, it might be hard for you to reach there. So think of possibly moving the thumb down the back a little bit more to get these fingers wrapped around a little bit easier. And then we get into the strumming pattern. So you hold down an E minor chord and I'm going to show you what the pattern is. That's down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Just try that on an E minor chord with me now. So here's a playthrough of the intro. Here's a playthrough of the verse. Here's a playthrough of the bridge.
So that's really all the parts in the song. What I'll do is I'll link to the chord chart for you. Now it looks like there's a lot in it. It's just the same stuff over and over again though. So with those chords and that strumming, this is a good one for your repertoire and to get your essential skills in order. Okay, thanks for your time. So if you like this video and find value, give it a like, subscribe for more videos and give it a share as well.